So again, there's two, two formulas for centripetal acceleration. The first thing is to figure out which one it is. So centripetal acceleration is v squared over r, or you might be using centripetal acceleration as 4 pi squared r over t squared. And the c right there just centripetal acceleration, right? That's the c. Okay, um, let's see. So this one, notice it tells us the period, right? 0 0.0171. That one is like very important. Don't, don't mess that up there. Okay, so that means we're not going to use this guy. We're going to use this guy here. So let's just plug in our numbers, right? Centripetal so acceleration is uh, 4 pi squared times our radius. 5.75 centimeters is 0 0.0575. So that is divide by 100 to do that, right? So 0 0.0575. And then this is divided by 0 0.0171 squared, right? So now I just have to type it into my calculator. So 4 pi squared times 0 0.0575 divided by 0 0.0171. And then don't forget to square the 0 0.0171, right? And when I do that, I get 7763.103219 uh, meters per second squared, right? So that is 776. Really, we should be just saying 7760, but people get kind of mad when I do that, so meters per second squared, because we should have three digits, three digits, this should have one, two, three, and then that we should put a zero there. It's not something we really do in general physics very much, so don't worry about it.